Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm junk journaling. Today, I'm working in my boho journal with the elephant theme. And right now, I'm interviewing several different elephants for a job of decorating this page. But let me catch you up with what I've done in the last couple of days. First thing is I made some wonderful crinkly papers to go in between the card stocks because for some reason I really get stuck on cardstock and I forget to put different elements in the book. So I made some transition pages and these are just watercolored graph paper pages, very thin, came out nice and crinkly. So here we're gonna go from the purple to the pink and here we're going from the blue to the purple and from the purple to the yellow and again from the yellow back to the purple and of course I've got my outstanding elephant in the center. Another thing that I did was to push back some of the color on this page and all I did was add some white gesso. Just enough so that the colors were a little bit more subdued and I could still see the patterns. And then I made a journaling card and I picked the yellow because yellow's coming up next. And I took some of the blue from the pattern in this paper that I made the pocket out of. And I used one of my new die cuts. I don't know the brand name of these, it just says made in China. And I found this wonderful handmade yellow paper. I do have a pack of this paper somewhere over here. And I bought this at a flea market several years ago and I've used a lot of it up for different projects. It says handmade papers by the pound. It's just very random. Some are very thin, some are very thick. They're not very big. Some of them have some nice gold in them. And I've been using them for different things, and this is very thick. And this is all I have left. So I just made a journaling card with this handmade paper and my die cut. And on the back, I put one of those stickers I got at the Dollar Tree the other day. But I cut off the word that said wishes. I don't know why I just didn't want that word on there. I rounded the corners, of course, and one thing I did not do was go around the edge with some ink. You know, you don't always have to do that. So now I want to put something up here. So I thought maybe I would repeat using these little corner pieces. And this is the same paper so I might add these up here, like that. So right now I'm interviewing these elephants and I have one that matches this side with the blue ear and I have a blue one with the purple ear and I have a yellow and blue one, kind of matches this with a pink ear and another sort of yellow, bluish, green one. I might go with that one. But because this die cut is a dragonfly, I thought I would put some wings on my elephant. So I have these Tim Holtz, and it's called Translucent Wings. And you get a whole big pack of butterflies, and some are butterflies and some are just wings. So this is like a dragonfly wing here, or could use this one. So I might put some dragonfly wings on there. And what I would do would, oh, where's the other one? Put one on backwards and one on frontwards like that. 
like dragonfly wing. So I might do that. But there's also really pretty little butterfly wings. And I could give the elephant these little butterfly wings. Know, maybe I'll save the butterfly wings for a different page and give this guy the dragonfly wings because I think it goes more with that page like that okay I'm gonna do some gluing I'll be right back so I've glued my little corners on and I have my lying elephant my elephant with dragonfly wings and I'm gonna let those pages dry and I wanna share with you two new stencils I got at the Dollar Tree. And the first one is flowers. And it's got several different designs and you just spin the wheel. And this one is a rose, it says love with an arrow. And a little bird. Three flowers on that one. One big flower on that one. And back to that one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six designs on each one. And the other one is feathers. So that's one. There's an arrow with a little heart on the end, and a feather, and another arrow with a different design, and another feather with a different design, and a really fancy arrow, and a fancy feather. But this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight designs. And the cat's knocking at the door. So on this blue page, across from this eyelash yarn, I think I want to put one of the feathers, and I tried out a couple of them, and I like this one. And I just want to put it down here in the corner. This stuff. So I'm going to put a blue one on this side. And I don't want to make it too dark. Just lightly pounce. want it like a tone on tone, not too dark. I didn't want it to go through, went through a little bit. And then on that space on the back, cover this up, I'm going to put a purple one. So let's see, that is here. So we're going to flip it over this way. Holding it up to the light over here. Move it up a little bit. Okay, it's about in that spot. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Pounce, 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 pounce. You know what? I don't like this purple. This is elderberry. Kind of dark. Let's go with grape. Pounce, 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 pounce. Oops. 
pounce, pounce, pounce. Concord grape. Here we go. Put it back. Clock. Okay, just a hint of a feather there and a hint of a feather on that side. Okay, and on this one I was thinking of doing a flower and a flower. Are those birds on this page too? But that's okay. I think I want to do flowers on this one. So this one's going to be flowers. Okay, I'm going to use the other new stencil, which is here somewhere. And I have a little bird. Maybe I'll put the bird on the other side. All right, let's try this one right down in the corner. And we didn't like the elderberry too dark, so we're going to go back to the dusty Concord grape. And just dab. Dab, dab, dab. I don't want it too dark. Just like that. Perfect. Stencil's working pretty good. I think I'll wipe it. Okay, on this side, maybe, should we put a pink bird? Let's put the pink bird. Put the little pink bird right there. And we're going to use Picked raspberry. Get a little eyeball. A wing. I just want tone on tone. Don't need a lot of detail, don't need a lot of color. It just is a journaling page. Oh, cute. So that one came out cute. I'm gonna wipe this off. I'll stick this back into the book. Paper here. Oh, there he is. Okay. And under here. Hmm. Oh, and over here too. Okay, well, we've gotten this far. Gotten this far. And I just wanted to share with you a little flying elephant in my new stencils from the Dollar Tree and they're working pretty good 
And I like the feathers. And I like the flowers. I guess for a dollar you can't go wrong, can you? Okay, now. Thanks for coming along. And happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now.